Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad geometry problem. So here uh, you see that we have a nice right triangle in which the, the length of one side is given as 11. So here our target is to find the parameter of this right triangle as well as we find the area of this triangle and also uh, we will find the unknown sides length of this right triangle so here uh, the very first step we are going to do is uh, here you first remember one thing is that this figure is not correct according to the scale uh, so here uh, the very first thing we are going to do is uh, first uh, we will call the side opposite to the vertex a is called the small a the side opposite to vertex b is denoted by small b and the side opposite to the vertex c is denoted by small c and one thing you already know about uh, in the uh, uh, in right triangle the longest side in the right triangle is called the hypotenuse and the side which join these two angles is called the base of this right triangle and this side is called the perpendicular or altitude side of this right triangle so here also we know about uh, the uh, right triangle is that the Pythagorean theorem is also hold in this type of triangle uh, so that here we state the Pythagoras theorem as uh, we know that Pythagoras theorem is hypotenuse square equals to base square plus perpendicular square so this is called the uh, Pythagoras theorem and now you see here our hypotenuse is the small c we substitute it here it will become small c square the base is our small b square and perpendicular is small a square so here we have one value of one side length of this triangle are given and it is b equals to 11 so we substitute this b equals to 11 here and we move this a square in the left hand side it will be written as c square minus a square equals to 11 square okay so here further we need more simplifications and now in the left hand side we will apply the algebraic formula uh, we know that c square minus a square equals to c minus a times of c plus a and in the right hand side we have 11 square equals to 121 so here uh, you focus in the left hand side you see here two factors are multiplied by each other but in the right hand side we have only one factor so that now we uh, convert our right hand side into the multiple of two factors uh, so we have uh, we write this 121 as uh, 11 times of 11 equals to 121 uh, and the second possibility is that 1 times of 21 is also equals to 121 so we have these two possibilities so that now we convert this equation into the uh, into these two cases so that here first we write uh, uh, the second possibility and we can equate the left hand side with these two numbers and after that we equate the left hand side with these two numbers okay uh, so here first we equate this with this and we write it as c minus a equals to 1 and c plus a equals to 121 and we call this is equation number 1 and we call this is our equation number 2 okay so further uh, uh, here uh, similarly we will compare the left hand side with these two numbers and we write it as c minus a equals to 11 and c plus a is also equals to 11 so here uh, we need to solve these two cases and we easily get the value of uh, the unknown sides of the given triangle so as well as we find the parameter and area of the given right triangle okay so here uh, first we need to focus on uh, this case and here if we subtract these two equations then we write it as this is positive and negative are gone this is positive and negative are gone and we obtain minus 2a equals to 0 so here we get the value of a equals to 0 so this means that uh, if uh, a equals to 0 a be the perpendicular side of the right triangle so it is not possible the side length of a right triangle equals to 0 so that we uh, 
uh, rejected this case because a be the side length of the given triangle so that it, it cannot be zero okay so we rejected the second case and we will just proceed here this case only uh, and in this case here first we add equation number one and equation number two so that when you add these two equations so this is negative a positive a are cancelled by each other and c plus c equals to 2c and 1 plus 121 equals to 122 and now we can divide both of the sides by 2 and we easily get the value of c equals to these are 2 6 are 12 and 2 1 are 2 so we easily get the value of c equals to 61 and now here in order to find the value of a we will just uh, uh, add we will just subtract equation number one and equation number two so when you subtract these two equations it means that we need to change these signs so here you see that these c are cancelled by each other and we have minus a and minus a becomes uh, minus 2 a equals to 1 minus 121 equals to minus 120 okay so here we divide both of the sides by minus 2 in order to find the value of a so this 2 is cancelled out by this minus 2 this minus is cancelled out by this minus and this 2 6 are 12 and this is 0 so here we easily get the value of a equals to 60 so here we will write uh, that uh, the other two side length of the given triangle are so here we find the side length of a equals to 60 and the side length of c equals to 61 clearly you see that c is the highest length of this right triangle and now here we need to move uh, towards to find the parameter and area of this right triangle okay we will write all of the three sides length here a is 60 and b is equals to 11 and c is equals to 61 these are the three side length of the given triangle and now here uh, you already know about the parameter and area of the given right triangle we know that uh, the formula of parameter of the right triangle uh, so actually the parameter be the uh, sum of all the three sides length of the given triangle okay uh, so here we have the value of a is 60 the value of b is 11 and the value of c is equals to 61 so when you sum up all of these three values then you will easily obtain our parameter equals to 132 so this is the parameter of the given triangle and now here we need to find the area of the given triangle and we know that the formula of area of triangle equals to half times of base multiplied by height or perpendicular so we have the side length of base is 11 and the side length of perpendicular is 60 so we cancelled these terms 2 3 is a 6 and 0 so finally we get the area of the given triangle equals to 330 because 11 times of 30 equals to 330 so this is the required area of the given triangle these are the three unknown side length of the given triangle this is the parameter and this is the area of the given triangle so this is uh, all the requirements of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos